Uh, Frank, for yourself personally, home game on Sunday gives you the chance to say goodbye to the fans. How's, how's that going to feel? Because obviously, on one hand, it's not gone anything like you would hope to have done, but the fans have really stuck by you. You could hear them belting your name out again tonight. You know, it's, it was a no-brainer to take it there. Is it still a no-scene? The same now, a no-brainer, and how are you going to feel on Sunday? Same with I don't, you know, I don't feel like it's. Uh, I'm not trying to sound. This sounds corny, but I don't feel like it's a goodbye. I appreciate it, and it'll be the end of the season, end of my small time back, and and I didn't have that because it was COVID before. But normally, when you leave a club, you don't have a big as a manager. You know, you you're in one day and you're out the next, and that's fine. That's what I mean. It's an odd situation because you. Will it doesn't feel yeah, but it doesn't feel that odd to me if I'm honest. I'll, I'll never. This is the corny part. I'll never feel like I'm saying goodbye to the fans because my career has been my career. You should be singing this. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, you, you won't want to hear that. But, but I. No, but when I say, it, I mean, you know, my my career as a as a player and as a coach, the first time around in this period, you know, that's it's there. I live, you know, close enough to the stadium, and I'll be back at Chelsea many times. You know, and when you when you take on a managerial career, it doesn't mean that you're going to be at the, the club that you had 13 years as a player forever. So I'm quite. Um, um, uh, calm about that. I'm not, I'm not too nostalgic about it, but I certainly will appreciate. I certainly do appreciate the fan support, and I will appreciate it on Sunday. But more than anything, I'd love to give them a performance that they can take away to the summer and feel a bit more positive about, for sure. Um, I wanted to ask you about two players. First, with goodbyes, um, would you like to play Mason Mount just in case it is his last game? Uh, if, if he's fit, and, and is there a chance you could do that? And, and secondly, with Reese, um, Reese won't be fit, and Mason's going to be really tight. Yeah. Hmm. He had a bit. Yeah, he, he came out yesterday and he went back in because he had a little bit of an awareness. But we hope that the scan says that there's no real damage. It was just one, probably a little reminder that it's a bit too early to be out. Has medical been part of the picture as well? Chelsea, part of the problems that you've had since you've come in. Because it's been, you've got. Well, we yeah, we've got a lot of people out, but I, I'll be honest, I haven't been here long enough to start openly talking about what the medical situation is. Wouldn't be, wouldn't be the right place for me. James. Hi, Frank. <coughs> from your experience here, this uh, this short period you've been back, and from your experience at Chelsea throughout your career, is this next job the most difficult job that any Chelsea manager has had in maybe the last 20 years? I don't know. It's a good headline, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It remains to be seen. I can't jump into the future. I think it's a fantastic job because it's a Chelsea job. And when I took it the first time I came, I probably got the job because a lot of top managers didn't want the job. I'm not, I know that for a fact. Uh, that was a big part of it. Um, but I enjoyed the process and I enjoyed coming in. And um, I wish the new manager well. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's his, his problem, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the headline you wanted? <laughs> Last one. Last yeah. one, and then we've got to go because we've got a plane to catch the score. Yeah, um, recently, Robbie, you spoke a lot about wanting the players to show what they can do um, in the last few weeks. Who has shown for you, and like who can the fans be excited? No, I, I, I don't want to go into individuals because I think that. Um, People could, could sort of dissect that. I think I thought Carney did really well today coming in into midfield. I thought he came in with a lot of personality. It's been one of the harder parts of my job with, with the numbers in the squad, the balance of you know going with a team that you feel to win important games, to win every game is important, and having time to work with the younger players who you haven't seen before. You know because normally you have a process of a pre-season and time, and you can really work and talk and train. And we haven't had that sort of time, so unfortunately, the Carney hasn't had an opportunity till today for me. But I thought he did well. I thought Nani did pretty well again. But at the, at the flip of that, I thought Aspie was fantastic in terms of his captain and his attitude, which is, is as I keep talking about, for me, it's sometimes 70% of the game is how you apply yourself and your attitude. But I don't, I don't want to get into the personal one if that's all right. Okay, we'll leave it there. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks.